Hey folks, this is Jeff of Real Country with Jeff and Mountie. Uh, just thought I'd show y'all a little bit of what I do for fun. Uh, make a little money every now and then. A little bit. Uh, got into a hobby about five years ago. Four to five years ago now. Uh, we had a tornado out here where I live. And uh, we were real lucky. It didn't hurt our house or anything like that. But it did come through and take out some of the prettiest oak trees on our place. And because of the change in weather conditions around here where we live in uh, lower Alabama, uh, that winter, the temperatures around Christmas and all the way up to it, it was like spring of the year. I mean, it was 70s, sometimes 80s. So we couldn't even run the wood in the fireplace. And you couldn't cut up and sell the firewood to anybody because there was so much damage within 20 miles of here, everybody had firewood. And I hated to see it just lay there and rot. So one day I was watching YouTube and came across uh, Ryan Cook and some of those other guys with the chainsaw carving shows. And I thought, man, that's neat. I used to could draw a little bit when I was in high school, killing time between classes. But uh, never played with a chainsaw like that. Just basically cut up a little firewood for camping. So I thought, hey, the wood's going to rot. I got the chainsaw. We'll give it a try. So in the last four or five years of piddling, I do one every now and then. And last year, I kind of got serious with it. Uh, my stuff is not lifelike by any means. Uh, kind of cartoonish, but I'm self-taught. I don't have any real professional wood carving equipment. My stuff is straight off the shelf at the stores. Uh, but I enjoy doing it. It's neat to me to take a log, turn it into a different critter, alligator, Indian, bear. Uh, and last few years I've been lucky, sold one or two little pieces. But uh, it's fun. Uh, thought I'd take a few minutes. Right now uh, I'm working on some uh, fish. A uh, gentleman came to me and he had bought a little small orange and white clownfish from me last year and uh, said him and his wife liked it. Uh, they they wanted it, or I may be wrong, maybe friends of theirs was interested, putting it around their pool. So I told him, no problem, I'll try to crank you out some. But uh, I won't bore you with the long, drawn out, all the way through, but uh, just thought I'd show you a little bit of playing with it for a couple of minutes and then later on in another video I'll try to show you the finished product. Uh, mostly it's just standing there playing with the saw. But uh, just going to do a quick rough out right now and then I'll show you the two little clownfish. I've already done the quick little rough out and then I'll get to work on the detail and show you the finished product later on. But if you will check it out. Uh, if you see this video check out our others. We're just getting started. Uh, Appreciate it if you would like our videos, subscribe. Uh, I could use all the help we could get. But if nothing else, I'll holler at you later on down the road. Good Lord's willing, the creek don't rise. We'll see you next time. Let me turn this camera around. All right. And please excuse my poor camera work and for right now lack of editing skills. I'm trying to learn and it will get better as time goes on. But here we go. Watch ears.
Well, that's just a, a quick rough out of what's going to be a, hopefully a pretty angelfish. And it's going to take a, a little bit of sanding, a little bit of grinding, some burning paint. And then these are the, the little clown fishes I was talking about. Like I said, they'll look a lot better once we uh, get to paint on them, do the little detail work. But stick around, we'll show you the finished one on the next video. Thank you all folks. Have a good evening.